coming to you today it is Lisa your hostess coach and I wanted to try this new recipe and I have read so many different recipes for this I never heard of it and you know I am a recipe junkie it is called lemon bisque or the one that I pulled out I've read so many is called lemon fluff dessert and I am making it gluten-free I'm using um, I made a graham cracker crust here out of these Pamela's um, honey grams and just ground them up put a little butter and pressed them into the pan here because this is really all the ingredients that we're using but did you know because I didn't know that you can whip evaporated milk am I the only one that never heard of that before and it whipped beautifully look at this just whipped it for a couple of seconds because I didn't think you were going to want to hear that and it whipped up just like whipped cream I can't believe it and I'm sure it is just a fraction of the calories of whipping cream. <laughs> so that is good to know. And it's gluten free. Um, so this is the gelatin. I just took the jello here and dissolved some sugar, the jello, and some fresh lemon juice. And I put the zest in too. And it says to whip it till there's bubbles. So let's whip it here. Hold on, I need to get a clean spatula really quick. And we will try out this new recipe together. Have any of you had this lemon bisque? So I made up this jello and let it set for about two hours in the refrigerator. It said, let it set till it was soupy. So I think we've got kind of soupy here. So I'm just going to put this jello in here and let's whip it till small bubbles form is what it said and see what happens. So hold on a second. <laughs> I can't wait to hear if other people's moms and grandmas have made this recipe and I'm the only one that had never heard of it. <laughs> but we will whip up our jello here until small bubbles form. So let's see what happens. Let's see. It looks to me like we are getting small, fine bubbles here. So I would guess we're just whi uh, whi uh, whipping some air into our jello here. Okay, well, that looks to me like we have whipped it. So I will show you what that looks like. We have whipped this to small bubbles. So looks like we have a little bit of air in there. And then I'm going to fold our whipped evaporated milk here right into the jello. So let's do that. And then that is going to be it. We, uh, I'm going to put a little lemon zest for garnish. The recipe said you could have saved some of the, uh, graham cracker crumbs, but I didn't to sprinkle on top. You could do that too. Maybe garnish this with some fresh mint would be an option too. But we are going to fold these two together and we are going to have lemon bisque or lemon fluff, depending on what your grandmother called it. So I'm excited to try this. I actually put half of the amount of sugar some of these recipes called for and the jello is plenty sweet. So we shall see how this turns out, but it looks, see, can you see folding this together? Wow. That jello incorporated very easily into our evaporated milk. Oh my gosh. Yum. Something new and different, huh? And I guess you also, there are a bunch of recipes. We're talking about how you could also use, um, sugar-free jello for this too. It didn't matter. So if you were watching your sugar, you could do that and do sugar-free, gluten-free because the jello is gluten-free and the evaporated milk is gluten-free and I'm using gluten-free grams, but you can use any kind of cookies you like for this base that wouldn't fight with the lemon flavor. So I use chess men a lot to grind up for, um, 
uh, crusts, or you could use vanilla wafers, Lorna Dunes, whatever is your favorite there, too. To, so it also appease, this would be a great dessert for Mother's Day that's coming up, something different and fun and fairly light. But oh my goodness, this just looks so yummy. Make sure I got all our lemon jello out of the bottom. My whipping cream here is starting to turn a little bit yellow, so I think we're getting everything incorporated, trying to fold gently. So I think we're good. We shall see when I dump this out. Oh my gosh, this is just such a cool dessert and so simple. You probably have a box of Jello and some graham crackers and a can of evaporated milk in your pantry. Now I did chill the evaporated milk. You're supposed to chill it in the fridge for at least a couple of hours. I chilled it overnight and then um, chill the bowl and the beater, which I did. So there we go. Lemon fluff. Oh my gosh, look how yummy that looks. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to chill that for a couple of hours and then voila, a new light and fluffy dessert. So that is our show for the day. Um, let me know how your lemon bisque slash lemon fluff turns out. Thanks for watching. Always a pleasure.